Hi, today I want to go over a concept that I feel should be basic common sense, but is sadly not to most manufacturers, which is that a Mac that tries to be a Mac stands a good chance at being a good product. A PC that tries to be a PC stands a good chance of trying to be a good product. An Android phone that tries to be an Android phone stands a good chance of trying to be a good product. But when you take a PC and you try to make it act like a Mac and you try to mimic some of the features of a Mac, what you often get is a very, very sad state of affairs where it does not work well at all and it's just kind of sad. So here what I've done is I just want to talk about just the, just the trackpad because again, the, one of the biggest arguments with the new Lenovo's is that the trackpad on it sucks and they tried to make the trackpad bigger and they tried to make it one button and gee, I wonder who they're trying to imitate by having a clicking trackpad with a button built into the trackpad that when it's larger. Like I wonder what manufacturer they're trying to imitate. Hand. Anyway, so what I wanted to do here is I Googled something and I just want to show you some basic scrolling up and down and I want to show you how it works and I want to show you how when a PC tries to be a Mac, how it fails and it is more frustrating to use. So here is my Synaptics touchpad. So I'm going to scroll up and down. So right now I'm going to try to scroll, right? So I'm going to scroll up, down, up, down, up. Oh, look, I tried to scroll down and it ignored me. I scroll down, it's also still ignoring me. I scroll down and it listens to me. I scroll up, it listens to me. I scroll around like this, but as soon as, here's the thing, every time you use the mouse a little bit and you try to scroll, it doesn't listen to you. So you can use the mouse, but then I try to scroll and now it listens to me. I try to use the mouse, I try to scroll, and now it listens to me. Of course, now it's doing that in a video, but you can see what I'm doing now. I'm scrolling up and down, up and down, and it's ignoring me. It's listening to me when it wants to listen to me. Uh, it sucks. Now, watch what happens when I try to scroll with the track point. This is a natural feature that was built into all these Lenovo PCs, and it, may, it, it, just, it works well. This is how this thing is supposed to be used. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It just listens to me. It, so I can move the mouse around, and I can scroll. I move the mouse around, I can scroll. I move the mouse around, I scroll. I can move the mouse around all I want and scroll, and what you're going to notice is that it never fucks with me. It never decides, hey, you know what? For no good reason, without logic, we're going to keep you from scrolling at this particular point in time. Um, and, and just let's do a little bit of a comparison here. Let's do the same thing with the MacBook. So I'm going to use the MacBook, and I'm going to try to scroll up and down of a website called DSLReports.com. Let's do the same thing. Let's make Safari full screen. So scroll down, up. Down, up, down, up, down. Move the mouse, scroll down and up. Move the mouse, scroll up. Move the mouse, scroll down. Move the mouse, scroll up. Move the mouse, scroll down. Move the mouse, scroll up. Move the mouse, scroll down. Move the mouse, scroll up. Move the mouse, scroll down. Move the mouse, scroll up. Move, and it just works. And look at—I didn't even know that this shit exists. Wow, this shows how much I know about using a fucking Apple product. Like, look at this. You, you, you swipe from left to right, and it gets it every time. You, 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 it, it'll bring your tabs back and forth. Like, this is a beautiful thing. This is a Mac being a Mac. There are reasons that I do not use Macs. There are many, many reasons that I do not use Apple laptops, and I feel they're valid reasons for my priority set. But this, this is fucking cool. I don't, I don't even like Macs. And again, not only is it always tracking as I'm moving, but it, it's making new tabs for me in the browser, and it's just, it's pretty damn cool how it can go back and forth like that. And it always listens to me. As I'm moving this, it's always listening to what I want to do. So when I go down, up, down, up. And let, let's go, let's try zooming, by the way. So watch this. So I want to zoom with a gesture. I zoom, I can move around, I zoom out, I move around, I scroll up and down, I move the mouse, I zoom, there's no lag, there's no latency, it just works. As soon, and it doesn't matter where I am on this thing. If I want to, and keep in mind, by the way, this computer here is from 2008. So this Lenovo is from mid-late 2011. This used and refurbished piece of shit is from 2008. And the reason it's actually sitting on my desk right now with this sticker is because I replaced everything on it. And I know you're not going to believe this for this video, but the one part of it that I actually forgot to check and refurbish because that's where the water went in is the fucking trackpad. So this is a liquid damage trackpad and it is kicking the shit out of the Lenovo one that I've treated nicely. And as you can see, like I want to go zoom, zooms. I want to zoom out, it zooms out. I want to go from left to right. It always does what I want to do. Now, let's again try doing that same thing on the ThinkPad. And again, keep in mind, I love the ThinkPad. I will have this computer probably until the day that I die. Not even just the ThinkPad in general, but this T520. It will be somewhere in my apartment, somewhere in the house I buy, somewhere in my life. So let's try to do the zooming, right? Now, you saw how on this machine, how the zooming was being done in real time. Watch this. So I zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, 
zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, now it's deciding to work because I'm doing a video. Go fucking figure. Okay, so I did one zoom there. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. Works. 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 Didn't work. Works. Works. Now let's try moving the mouse and zooming. Move the mouse, zoom. Didn't work. Move the mouse, zoom. Didn't work. Move the mouse, zoom. Worked. Move the mouse, zoom out. Worked. Move the mouse, zoom out. Didn't work. Uh, let's see. Scroll, zoom. Scroll, zoom. So it worked the first. It worked the second time. It didn't work the first time. Um, it, ultimately, this is just. It works when it wants to work. And needless to say, you don't get any of that cool shit going back and forth. Of course, that is software. This is not a fair comparison. If I wanted it to be a fair comparison, I would be using Internet Explorer and Windows because that is the browser built into the operating system. The same way Safari is the browser that is built into the operating system for OS X. But ultimately, again, when you use this thing the way it's supposed to be used, let's try zooming now. So I want to zoom out. Zoom in. Zoom out, zoom in, 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 zoom out, zoom in. You notice how it got it every fucking time. There was no, it works, it works, it works, it doesn't. It works, it works, it doesn't, it doesn't. It works, it works, it doesn't, it doesn't. It works, it doesn't, it doesn't, it works. It just worked every single time. So I zoom out, I zoom in, I zoom out, I zoom in. What's the difference? I'm using the computer with the way it's meant to be used. I'm not using the part of the computer that's trying to be a Mac. I'm using the part of the computer that knows that it is a PC, that knows that it is a ThinkPad. I'm using what is called the track point interface. So what I'm doing is I'm holding down control, I'm hitting the middle button, and then I move the track point up and down. And when I hit the control key, I hold the middle button on my track point and I do this up and down, every single time it works without fail. Every single time I want to scroll here, it's not like it scrolls now and doesn't scroll later, it scrolls now, it doesn't scroll later, it scrolls, it scrolls, it scrolls, it scrolls, it scrolls, it scrolls, it, scrolls. it always scrolls. It always goes exactly where I want to. It doesn't matter if I move, just move the mouse. Now imagine if I try to do that with this. Look, I just tried to move that thing and it just didn't even want to move for a second. So I'm moving, I'm scrolling, and look, what the fuck is this? Look, come on. Like now it's scrolling. So look, I'm going to move this around. Now I'm going to click with the mouse and now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll up. I scroll down, up, scroll down, up, down, up, down, up. I scroll, I click, I scroll, I click. And look, what the, f what the fuck? What is this? What is this? It just... The ultimate thing is when the PC is used as a PC, it just works. And people wonder, why is it that people hate this new functionality? Why do people hate these new features? Why do people hate when we try to be modern? It's because when you're trying to be modern, very, very often what you're trying to do is copy Apple. And the difference between what you did and what Apple did is that even though the Apple computer is three and a half years older than yours, they actually did it right the first time. It's not like this shit where it's like, it, it's three years newer, but it still doesn't work the same way with the drivers from 2015 with 2011 hardware. This 2008 Apple out of the box had a trackpad that worked 10 times better than yours. It's why I don't use a trackpad on a PC. Trackpads on a PC at best are enough to just, just keep me from, from throwing the computer out a window. Uh, but the, yeah, this, this is frustrating. Again, it's working now, but look, it's, it didn't work the first two times after, the, after I put my hand down. It's just, it works when it wants to. So sometimes I can scroll and I can scroll. And you may say that this is lame and that I'm bitching about small little things, but you'll just find out with all these products and it's just getting worse and worse and worse as Apple culture and Apple products become more popular, that everybody thinks that if they copy Apple, they'll be more successful. That the, in what you don't get is what you buy with Apple, what you get when you buy an Apple product. It's not a pinch to zoom. You're not getting the like, scrolling and multi-touch. What you're getting is that the thing that for lack of a better way to say it, that it just fucking works. Like the feature itself is not buggy. It just fucking works. And I'm not saying that Apple products are not buggy. They, there are tons of bugs. And if you want me to list them for you in chronological order, I'm more than happy to. What you're getting is that when they advertise a feature, for the most part, you may not like that feature. You may not have use for that feature, but it, it works to a usable degree. It's, it's not like, again, like this to me, some people would say this is good enough. To me, good enough is not enough. Like, I, again, you, you saw, I pinched five times. It zoomed twice. That's a joke. Um, so look, I'm doing it again. Look, look, look at me try to zoom out. Look at this. And no, it, it just did it now. And again, this is, this, is what, this is what happens. Like, and this is something that is really important, especially since people keep talking about the design of the newer ThinkPad, the retro ThinkPad. 
You know, I have a T440, which is newer than this. It's two generations newer. It's got that nice, large, shiny trackpad with the one button that's supposed to look like the Apple one and seem like the Apple one. Even though you guys don't want to admit that you're copying Apple, you know exactly who you're copying. Who, well, like, really, seriously, let's be honest with ourselves here. You know who you're copying. Um, and it still works like shit. I've used it. I gave it a chance. Everybody said, well, you should try it. Well, it's new. Well, you just hate everything new. Uh, No, I don't hate everything that's new. I hate things that suck. And that trackpad works just as shitty as this trackpad. I hate this trackpad the same way that I hate most PC trackpads, the same way I hate the T440 trackpad, the same way I'm probably going to hate the T450 trackpad. You know what has a good trackpad? A computer that's seven years older than that. It has a better trackpad out of the box, seven years older, liquid damaged. It just fucking works. It's not about the multi-touch. It's not about the pinch to zoom. It's not about it being glass. It's not about it being shiny. The reason people prefer them is because it just works. And this, this really kills me. It does because I don't like Apple products. I don't like the fact that if I drop this off the desk, it's done for. I don't like the fact that you don't have antimicrobial keys so that when I type on it, eventually the skin oil gets absorbed into the keys. I find that disgusting about Apple computers. I have, is this, it is absolutely disgusting to me that there is no option for an antimicrobial keyboard. If you have not used one or felt those surfaces where the keyboard is a little bit sandy in feel, uh, the whole point of that is to keep it is to keep the bacteria and the shit from accumulating there over time. And I think it's just disgusting that you create a keyboard that's meant to just let the bacteria live there and harvest and enjoy itself. And you see what it looks like after a year or two with those keyboards. I don't like the fact that there's no resilience to to liquid spills in those machines. I don't like the fact that for years the hinges and the back covers were kind of made to fall apart. I don't like the overheating and all that other bullshit. But what I do like about them is there are those certain aspects where you just look at the Apple machine and you use it. And then you use this, you know, again, you look at these little features, just those little things, and you just see how it works on this machine and how it works on the other. And it really is obvious why Apple owns the high-end market. It really is obvious because the thing is with the Apple machine, these start at a thousand bucks. These started about, you know, eight hundred or nine hundred or thousand bucks, depending on what which one you get. But every single one of them, whether you're buying the eight hundred dollar one or whether you're buying the four thousand dollar one, have that trackpad. They all have a trackpad that is basically functional and usable and it's good and it's nice and it works nice. I don't like trackpads. I'm a track point person. I like this. But if I were forced to use a trackpad, I would shoot myself on this and I'd probably wind up being one of these. But with the other brands, you can spend six hundred or four hundred dollars on a Lenovo, and you can get a Lenovo where there's really no there's no room to make excuses. It's four hundred dollars. There's what are you bitching about? It's a cheap computer. But if you were to buy from Lenovo a five thousand or a six, you were really to deck out that workstation and get the quad core three point nine gigahertz processor and the quad draw twenty one hundred M and the two SSDs in RAID zero and the you know the color calibration whatever screen and all that shit. Um, and the screen that you could calibrate color on, you can get all that shit and you're still stuck with the same crappy garbage bullshit ass trackpad that you get in the $400 computer where your pin, where, where it just doesn't work the same as this. And it's really no wonder why Apple owns the high end market. Again, I'm not going to say that I believe their products are the best deal. There are many ways in which I believe their products are just overpriced, silly, asinine, price, uh, ridiculous ripoff. But the, but the area where I do agree with Apple is that what they do is they try to make an overall decent product for the price that they're offering. Again, if I buy a $2,000 computer from Apple or a $1,000 computer from Apple, I know I'm getting a usable trackpad. If I buy a $6,000 or $7,000 laptop from another company, I could very easily be getting a trackpad that had that nobody ever actually did this to. That Not a single person in that company said, hmm, let me sit down and compare it and see if it's going to frustrate the fuck out of me or not the same way this is. Because this is frustrating as hell. This is bullshit. Like I shouldn't have, again, it, it works 70% of the time. And that's whether you bought the T520, that was the $800 configuration in 2011, or you buy the W520, that is the $4,000 configuration in 2011. They both have the same piece of crap. And it's just something to think about. So if you're a PC manufacturer, do your best to make your product be the best PC that it can. So if you make a product that people are buying because of the track point, don't focus on the trackpad unless you're going to make a better trackpad than the people you're copying. If you're going to come out with a trackpad that kicks the fuck out of the Apple trackpad, and I'm not, and I'm not even trying to get you to kick the fuck out of the Apple trackpad from 2015. I'm talking about you kick the crap out of the Apple trackpad from seven years ago. 
then maybe you can fuck up the track point. I'm not saying I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna agree with that, but at the very least, then maybe you've earned the right to try because because you at least gave us another interface that was worthwhile. You may be taking away the track point, but you're giving us an interface that's actually usable. But when you're going to give us an interface in 2014 or 15 that is worse than the interface, again, I'm, I'm saying this because I've tried the trackpad on the T440. It sucks as much as this one. Uh, if you're going to give us an interface that is worse than the seven-year-old interface in an Apple product, at the very least, keep the interface that works. Keep the interface that people can use. Keep the interface that people can zoom quickly in and out on and scroll easily with without having to worry about whether it's not going to listen to them. 